dear students welcome to this program today we are going to discuss about circle part 8 this is chapter 10 from class 9 mathematics book dear students what today we are going to discuss we are going to discuss about the angle property of cyclic quadrilateral so here we have a cyclic quadrilateral what is uh, it means we will discuss later let's recap which is very helpful in this section let's see the angle uh, subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle this is theorem 10.8 we have discussed its proof earlier here we will apply this so here is the statement now let us understand what is cyclic quadrilateral is cyclic means on the circle so what is cyclic quadrilateral a quadrilateral ABCD is called cyclic quadrilateral if all the four vertices of it lie on a circle you see in this figure a b c d is a quadrilateral and the vertices a b c and d that are on the same circle so we can say that a b c d is the cyclic quadrilateral so what is the relationship between angle of angles of cyclic quadrilateral so the theorem states like this this relationship the sum of either pair of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 3, 180 degree now see in this figure abcd is the cyclic quadrilateral and its opposite sides opposite vertices and opposite angles you see in this figure bad is opposite to BCD and ADC is opposite to ABC. So, here the opposite angles are supplementary or sum of the opposite angles is 180 degree. So, in this statement what is the given statement? O is the center of the circle and vertices of quadrilateral ABCD are on the circle. Then what to prove? we have to prove that angle BAD plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree and the angle ABC plus angle ADC is equal to 180 degree. So, sum of the opposite angles are 180 degree. Then for this let us have a construction join BO and DO. Now, after joining BO and DO we have angle BOD and its reflex. So, what to prove? How to prove? In this figure, arc BCD is minor and arc BAD is major arc. So, here BCD is smaller one and BAD is larger one and the angle subtended by BCD at the center is angle BOD and angle subtended by BAD is reflex angle BOD. Now, you see we know that sum of uh, a angle and its reflex angle is 360 degree. So, angle BOD plus reflex angle BOD is equal to 360 degree. Now, we as earlier we discussed that the angle subtended by, subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. So, here we can apply this. So, in this case BAD is the angle subtended by arc BD on the rest part of the circle and at the center it is angle BOD. So, we can write that BOD is same as 2 BAD. Similarly, for BCD we have reflex of BOD. 
so reflex of BOD is equal to twice of BCD. So we can write this. Now adding these two equations, we can say that twice BAD plus twice angle BCD is equal to angle BOD plus reflex angle BOD. And we know that sum of the angle and its reflex is 360 degree. So we can write by taking two common in left side, we have angle BAD plus angle BCD in bracket and in right side, we have sum of BOD plus its reflex angle. Now, 2 BAD plus 2 BCD is equal to 360 degree. So, if we take 2 to the right side, we have angle BAD plus angle BCD is equal to half of 360 degree. That means, angle BAD plus BCD angle is equal to 180 degree. So, we prove that the angle, the opposite angles A and C are supplementary. That means, their sum is 180 degree. We know that in this quadrilateral ABCD, sum of the four sides, four angles is 360 degree. So, we can write BAD angle plus BCD angle plus ABC angle plus ADC angle is equal to 360 degree. Out of these four, the sum of BAD and BCD is given as 180 degree. So, if we substitute the sum of those two angles here, we have 180 degree plus angle ABC plus angle ADC is equal to 360 degree. Now, you see, if we take the 180 degree value to the right side of the equation, we can get angle ABC plus angle ADC is equal to 180 degree. And this angle ABC and ADC are also opposite angles of this quadrilateral. So, we prove the theorem. Is there any converse of this theorem? That means, the if the sum of pair of opposite angles of a quadrilateral is 180 degree, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. That means, if sum of the opposite angles will be 180 degree, then the vertices of that quadrilateral must lie on the same circle. Now, what is the figure here? You see A, B, C, D are four points where A, B, uh, angle A, angle C, uh, they are opposite. So, sum is 180 degree. Similarly, angle B and angle D are opposite and so their sum is 180 degree. If this is so, then what to prove? Then we have to prove that vertices of quadrilateral ABCD lie on a circle. Let us see how to prove this. If ABCD is a quadrilateral, then its three points A, B and C must be nonlinear. So, and we know that through three nonlinear points, we can have a unique circle. So, this is the circle where three points A, B and C lie. Now, what about the fourth point D? Will it on the circle or in the exterior of, exterior of the circle or in, in the interior of the circle? If it is in the exterior of the circle, then what happens? If it is in the interior of the circle, then what happens? And if these two are uh, hold good, then it will not be on the circle. Let us see. So, proof. Let the three points of the quadrilateral are on a circle with center 
at O. So, here is the center O. Then what about the fourth point? And let D is on the exterior of the circle. This implies So, this is the collateral. If this is the collateral, A D must intersect the circle at some point E. Then, A D must intersect the circle at E. Then join E C. Now you see A E C B is cyclic collateral. So, angle E and angle B are supplementary. So, A, E, C, B is a cyclic quadrilateral. This implies angle A, E, C plus angle A, B, C is equal to 180 degree. But it is given that angle ADC plus angle ABC equal to 180 degree. From these two equation, we get as in both the cases we have ABC and this sum is 180 degree. So, we can say that angle AEC is equal to angle ADC. Is it possible? as in triangle in triangle EDC the exterior angle which is exterior angle the exterior angle is AEC angle AEC is greater than the interior opposite angle D that is angle EDC. So, you see AEC and ADC and here also AEC and ADC because EDC is same as EDC. So, we can write here AEC is greater than ADC. So, this is equation 2 in equation 2 and this is equation 1. So, equation 1 and 2 contradicts. Why this contradiction arises? Because what we have taken is not true. That means, D cannot lie on the exterior of circle. Now, let us see D cannot be on the exterior of the circle. Let us see what happens if it lies inside the circle. If D is inside the circle, then what happens? A, D, C 
is our given collateral. If a d is given collateral, let extend a d and let it intersect the circle at E, then join E C. So, you can write if D lies on lies in the interior of the circle, then let A D extended to meet the circle at E. Then join E C. Now, what to do? As again A E C B is cyclic collateral. As A E C B is cyclic collateral, we can say angle A B C plus angle A E C is equal to 180 degree. But it is given that angle A B C plus angle A D C is equal to 180 degree. So, from these two we get angle A B C plus angle A E C is equal to angle A B C plus angle A D C. So, on both sides we have angle A B C. From this we can say that angle A E C is equal to angle A D C. But in triangle E C D exterior angle A D C is greater than angle D E C or we can say that angle A D C is greater than angle A E C. A E C. So, from statement let us this statement is 3 and this statement is 4. So, statement 3 and 4 contradicts. We can say 3 and 4 contradict which from which we can say that <coughs> D cannot lie in the interior of the circle. Now, D cannot lie on the exterior of the circle. Also, we proved that D cannot lie in the interior of the circle. So, where will be the point D? So, this implies D lies on the circle, on the circle. So, we proved that the points A, B, C and D lie on the same circle. Thus, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. By using this statement, we can also prove some more facts. Let us have a look at the question. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral whose BC side is extended to point E 
outside the circle. Prove that angle BAD is equal to angle DCE. This is the circle A, B, C, D and BC is extended to E. We have to prove that angle DCE and angle BAD are equal. So, given ABCD is cyclic quadrilateral and BC is extended to E. To prove angle BAD is equal to angle DCE. You see, as ABCD is cyclic quadrilateral, ABCD is cyclic quadrilateral. This implies angle BAD plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. Now you see, but angle BCD plus angle DCE equal to 180 degree because they are linear pairs. These two angles are linear pairs. Now, from these two, we conclude that BAD plus BCD is equal to angle BCD plus angle DCE. Now, if we cancel the equal parts here BCD and BCD, we get BAD angle is equal to angle DCE. So, the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to its opposite uh, opposite of its adjacent angle. Let us have a question. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral whose diagonals intersect at a point E. If angle DBC is equal to 70 degree, angle BAC is 30 degree, find angle BCD. Further, if AB is equal to BC, angle ECD, we have to find. The diagonals AC and BD intersect at E. The angle DBC is equal to 70 degree and angle BAC is equal to 30 degree. So, this angle is 30 degree. We have to find the value of angle BCD. We have to find this angle. Now, you see, if this is 70 and DBC is the angle subtended by the arc DC on the remaining part of the circle. That means, we know the angle in the same segment are equal. So, solution angle DBC is equal to angle DAC. Why? Angle angles subtended in the same segment so this is become this will be 70 degree now this gives 
this angle DAC and BAC are adjacent angle, so their sum is DAB. So we can write angle DAB is equal to angle DAC plus angle BAC that is 70 degree plus 30 degree equal to 100 degree. As this is a cyclic collateral, so angle BAD or DAB plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree because opposite angles of cyclic collateral. This implies and DAB equal to 100 degree, so 100 degree plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. This gives angle BCD equal to 180 degree minus 100 degree equal to 80 degree. And second condition is if AB equal to BC. You see, if AB equal to BC, then in triangle ABC, this is a this is an isosceles triangle. So in triangle ABC, angle BAC is equal to angle BCA is equal to 30 degree. Then we have to find angle ECD. ECD. So we have to find this angle. You see, this total angle is 80 degree and out of this, this part is angle 30 degree. So we can write angle ECD is equal to angle BCD minus angle BCA and BCD, BCD equal to 80 degree and BCA is equal to 30 degree that gives 50 degree. So this angle ECD is equal to 50 degree. Now let us have another question. If diagonals of a cyclic collateral are diameters of the circle through the vertices of the collateral, prove that it is a rectangle. See, O is the center, A, B, C, D. So given ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral and AC and BD diagonals are diameters of this circle. If we use the property of the rectangle, it shows that in rectangle the diagonals bisect each other and are equal. As these two are AC and BD are diameters, so diagonals of ABCD are equal 
and bisect each other as these are the diameters so they are equal and they also bisect each other as they pass uh, pass through the center o and this condition is sufficient to show that abcd is a rectangle here we don't need any property of cyclic equilateral you see that is angles of cyclic uh, cyclic equilateral let's have another question in cyclic equilateral abcd bisectors of angle d and angle b intersect each other at e de line intersect the circle at f prove that be is perpendicular to bf here is a circle where ab a b c d are the points the bisectors of angle b and angle d they meet at point e and that bisector of angle d intersect the circle at f we have to show that this bf is perpendicular to be so what is given in cyclic equilateral abcd bisectors of angle d and angle b meet at e de intersects the circle at a we have to prove that bf is perpendicular to be you see this angle and this angle means angle fba and angle fda are on the same side so they are equal so we can start from that angle fba is equal to angle fda because they are on the angles in the same segment so and what is this what is fda and fba is equal to this fda is half of the angle d that means we can write half of angle adc let it be equation 1 now you see angle abe angle abe is equal to half of angle abc this is 
then we know that this ADC and ABC are opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral. So their sum is 180 degree. If we add these two, what do we get? FBA plus ABE angle ABE is equal to half of angle ADC plus half of angle ABC. By taking by taking half common from right side and the sum of FBA and ABE is same as the angle FBE. So for left side we can write angle FBE is equal to on right side we can take half common so we have angle ADC plus angle ABC inside the brackets. So from this we get that half AB, uh, ABE is equal to half into 180 degree. Why? Because as angle ADC and angle ABC are opposite angles of of a cyclic collateral. This implies angle FBE is equal to 90 degree. That means this implies BF is perpendicular to B. Dear students, today we discussed about the cyclic quadrilateral. We understand that the opposite sides, opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary to each other and also we use this property to solve some problems. I hope you understand. Have a good day. Thank you.